All right, everybody, here is my gold-plated pipe insert, full review and unboxing. Uh, I just got these in last night from my buddy Ford Guy James. Uh, he sent them to me all the way from Florida, so shout out to you, James. Thank you very much. Uh, so everyone, this is what I had no idea, because when I used to buy pipe inserts from Zippo.ca, they never came in box. They were just in a big box, loose, like I'd order 10 and they'd all be floating around, clanking off each other. Uh, these ones actually come in their own box. Uh, let me just show you the back, uh, new style box, new sticker on the back, uh, for 2022, it seems. It says right there, 65845. If you type that code into Google, uh, gold flash pipe inserts come up. Pipe insert, gold plate. I don't know what it was trying to say on the rest there. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's take a first glance. Hoo wee, look at that. In certain light, it doesn't look gold though, eh? Like when you turn it that way, but then when you turn it that way, boom, it turns gold. I don't know why it's like that. Uh, outside, this thing looks amazing. <laughs> outside, this looks great. I don't know why it's like that, but let's go over it. So we got the price tag, $19.99 Zippo. Uh, it says yellow flame on here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, pipe lighter insert, empty. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they're all January 2022. And just so you know, yeah, I got three of them. I figured three was the best way to go. And I'm going to tell you my plans with them right after the review why I got three. I think you guys will be interested. So stick around to the end. Uh, I don't need to put that back in the box. So here we got January 2022. That's how we know this is gold flash. Uh, in the picture, it says D21, but that was only a uh, prototype for the picture. Uh, just like in the butane insert. Here, I'll show you. Okay, if you watch my original v uh, video before the butane inserts came out, uh, in the picture, it said China right on the bottom here. It said China, but look, the inserts don't say China on them right there. Like they do. Go watch that video. It says China right on them. Uh, but And the dates are always different because the ones they're showing in the pictures are prototypes. That's why. Uh, they're just the ones to get everything all the talking and buzz going and then uh, when they actually do a mass run of them You'll see they have different dates. So I have reason to believe most of them are going to be this January 2022 You might see some February. This is the first thing for 2022. I have I do not have a 2022 Zippo yet uh, To check out the bottom stamp or anything like that, but let's get into the gold-plated inserts now uh, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some hard honest truths uh, some pros and cons about this uh, there is a lot actually to talk about guys, unfortunately. Uh, so now what you're thinking is this probably doesn't look any different than the brass inserts you're used to usually getting. I have one right here. I have a brass pipe insert somewhere. <laughs> one sec. I have one. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So the first thing you're probably noticing is, wow, that is much more yellow. That looks much more like a gold insert. Uh, and this is brand new, never been, never been used. And look, never been used, already starting to wear off and stuff. Uh, that's how, just from sitting here, right? Uh, now, when you get a collectible Zippo, like uh, the 2018 collectible of the year was a gold-plated Zippo, gold-plated insert. Uh, the American National Anthem was also a gold-plated insert in that chrome Zippo. Uh, and uh, the Asian Dragon, uh, I think... Uh, What's the other one that comes with the gold? Oh, the Fleur de Lis. That one also comes with a gold plated insert. Few, uh, a few select Zippos do come with the gold plated inserts. Now, the gold plated inserts are more reminiscent of this, okay? And they are a lot brighter than this and they look a lot more on there thicker than that because this is flash gold, okay? But I'm just going to tell you guys something about this, all right? Now, <clears throat> the 18, those ones, those, those inserts that are gold plated, that are in those uh, like uh, collectible Zippos that come out, those are 18 karat gold plated inserts. Those aren't gold flashed inserts. And gold flashing, they only use 10 to 14 karat gold for uh, gold flashing, all right? So I can, just by looking at this, I know about gold and everything like that. I can already tell just by looking at this that this is only 10 karat gold. Uh, 10 karat gold is not that yellow. 10 karat gold is uh, a little more brighter and a, like, because there, it's not pure gold. It's only like half gold, really, right? Uh, it's got like other alloys in it to keep it durable and to give it its a shine and things like that. Uh, so when you get one of those collectible inserts, those inserts are 18 karat gold plated. And that's gold plated. This is only gold flashed. 
gold flush means it's like the seventh micron or whatever it is uh, of, of, of thickness plated onto it. But don't get that confused. Don't watch this video and be like, oh, they're not as, they're not as yellow as the brass. They're not as gold. The lighting in this room is bad. If you brought this outside or in a room with a bright light instead of this dull yellow light that's in this room, this crappy light bulb, this thing actually looks very, very good. Uh, maybe you're seeing it very good, but I'm not. Like when I, as soon as I bring it outside, this thing, this thing looks really good. Actually, oh, never mind. I was going to add it in a piece, but I don't care. This is a one shot. So don't let this fool you. You bring it outside, it looks really good. But so the thing is, this is going to be more durable than this. All right. This is just, I don't know how Zippo does it. They won't tell anybody. I've emailed them, asked them. They said it's an industry secret. They won't tell anybody how they do any of their coatings or platings or nothing. They won't say shit. But this, I know for a fact is weak because everyone who has a brass insert knows that after a couple of months, they wear right off. It's just a steel insert. Now, if you go watch my video on how to clean a gold-plated insert on my other channel, you will see that that gold-plated insert is two years old with heavy use, and it was black as crap, and I took all the soot out on the inside of the chimney, and it was still gold in there, and it was still shiny gold. It looked brand new almost, minus the scratches that were on it from wear and tear. But that just goes to show you the strength and durability of the gold plating, right? So this gold flashing is going to hold up. Uh, now... Maybe in a few months time, you'll want to see my updated review because I'm going to be using this as an everyday carry. So you'll have to stick around for that and you'll have to, it'll probably be in a few months or maybe at the end of summer because I'm going to put it through the trenches. I'm going to see, I'm going to see how well it holds. But I know for a fact, because like I do plating and things like that. I know for a fact the gold flash is going to hold guys. Don't, don't skip on this because they're not as a dull yellow like this one is, uh, when the light hits this, trust me, this thing looks even better than this. This is a way more uh, flashier piece. But, and the thing is, you're getting more protection with this because it's actually gold plated. Now, it might be a little bit thinner and it might be not uh, 18 karat gold, but it's going to be, this is definitely 10 karat gold plating. And I just want to say, guys, remember, the higher carat you go in gold, the weaker the metal is. So 18 karat gold plating is weaker than 10 karat gold plating. You understand what I'm trying to say? So this is going to be extremely strong. I, I guarantee it. This is this is gonna be a very durable finish that is gonna last and it's gonna hold up to the test of time because 10 karat is way stronger than 18 karat because of the other alloys that are introduced to it to make it more durable. That's the whole point of it, right? Uh, so now everything you probably wanna see is let's see how it looks inside a Zippo. So I got the rose gold Zippo right here. Armor, deep carve, Hannibal Lecter style. I have a single torch in it right now. Oh, I don't want to hit this camera when it comes out. Let's put the gold plated insert in. Fits like a glove. Wasn't struck before. There we go. And there it is. That looks nice in there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Oh, look at that gold. I love having that. Because then, you know what? You get to say, hey, it's real gold. You can tell everybody, hey, it's gold plated. And like, this is real rose gold. So like have a real rose gold Zippo with a real gold plated insert on the inside. This thing looks completely badass. I'm very stoked about this, actually. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks really good. I can't wait to uh, put some fluid in this and use this. Uh, so anyways, at the beginning of the video, I also did say that there were some plans that I had with the, why I ordered three. Uh, one is going to be my everyday carry in a Zippo, like so. And then one, I'm going to actually turn into a butane pipe insert, a gold, a gold plated butane pipe insert. I'm very excited about that. Uh, I was going to make this butane insert, uh, first out of a different one, but I was going through it and I was going through the things and it's going to work. So I'm just going to go straight to the gold plated uh, insert. I don't have any time this in the next few weeks to actually do it. This might be more of a down the road project, but that is why I got three. One to always keep in good condition that I could just have put away for videos and show people and things like that. One to use as an everyday carry for test and then one to make into a butane insert, I have the butane pipe insert. I really wanted that. I wanted it to be Zippo and I think that's going to look cool to turn convert this into a butane pipe insert like that's going to look sick. Uh, so 
thanks for stopping in take care hope to see you in the next one let me know i know a few people have already ordered this have you got yours yet what do you think about it uh is there anything you wanted to add that you might have noticed that i missed in this video uh but like i said i was just trying to i was just trying to tell everybody you know like don't don't be afraid to get these just because they're not as gold plated or they don't look the same color uh trust me this is this is a far inferior product compared to the gold flash uh, 10 karat gold is very strong that is going to be much more durable uh, the rose gold like these rose gold lighters hold up way better than chrome so uh, you know that should tell you the durability of plating with uh, precious metals that should tell you how much more durable it is uh, so thanks guys stay tuned for the next one i'm going to have another video for you tomorrow it's going to be a 1941 black ice uh, replica unboxing i'm going to be doing that tomorrow and we'll see how one of these look in there maybe and uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.